Hey, what's up guys? It's Sasson here. Welcome back to another episode of Dirty Bomb. This is gonna be the long-promised 5k special, the Q&A video. And I know I'm really late, I'm looking at it now, we are at 5300 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you all very much for subscribing and hopefully enjoying the content I deliver, especially of course the Dirty Bomb content. But before this video starts, I have actually a small question for you guys, and that is to fill in the survey down below. It will take roughly like a minute, hopefully it will improve the videos in the future, so if you can do that, Thank you very much for that. But without further ado, let's move on to the first question, which is from none other than X Sniper Girl X. And her question is, how did you get your online name TLC Assassin L? It's really funny actually, like back in 2012, I think, we had a clan, a clan, not really official or anything, but for Call of Duty Black Ops, and we had a, we were searching for a name and someone, I don't know how or why, he came up with the name The Loser Cruiser Shooters. No idea what it means, but basically that is TLCS. Then the L's on both ends are to make it symmetrical, because I was 15 probably. So, you know, it had to look symmetrical. Assassin, I don't know why, but I just typed in some Google Translate stuff and that was basically the thing I kind of liked. So that was the name and that's kind of stuck for like five, six, seven years now. So that's how I got the name. Next question from Confused Cactus, and that is, when did you get your first Cobalt? Well, it was way back actually. It was in episode nine of the video. I still did episodes back then. Not sure about the exact date. I think like a month after I started playing. It was a Phantom, a CR94. I still have it actually. It's a gen one card, of course, with the Katana. So I was really happy with that. And it was out of an Elite case that I actually purchased with real life money, so I didn't get my first Cobalt out of an equipment case, unfortunately. I believe I was level 9 back then, so it was really really early on in my, my Dirty Bomb career. Next question is from Linus Mum. What kind of merc would you like to see added next? Flamethrower do it maybe? Well, first of all, if they are going to add a flamethrower do it, it should be a German person called Hans, of course, from memes. But I would love to see a medic with a throwable grenades. I don't know for the guys who played Planet Side 2, but you have like grenades that you can throw that will heal or revive. I think that would be absolutely sick in Dirty Bomb. Something like that. Uh, I think my main class I would like to see another merc for is at the moment medics. The next question is from Zero Decima. What is your most prized card in my collection? It's very hard to say because I have a ton of really really good cards, tons of really cards that I really like. But I would probably say the Krullput card for Proxy, just because it is a really, really good loadout. Otherwise, it's probably the F51 Cobalt that I just crafted like three days ago, actually. So that's one of the cards that I'm actually really, really happy about, too. But most of the Gen 1 cards, Humble Bundle cards, Alienware, Logitech cards, I'm all really, really excited about those. And I prize those cards a lot in my collection. Ghost Shadow 7 asked, are you going to do a giveaway for 5k? No, unfortunately I'm not going to do a giveaway for that, however I still have a kind of a giveaway running with the art contest that is linked in the video if you want to check it out. You can either win by just making some channel art or by entering the date of which Dirty Bomb will like surpass the all time high peak, which probably will be this year or next year, but uh, you have only two days more to answer that, so if you want to do that Link will be in the description below, but no regular giveaway for the 5k, maybe 7k, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't really like giveaways too much anymore because a lot of people will just follow and do whatever the giveaway, you know, objective is, just for the giveaway items and not really for the channel, so that's why I don't really do giveaways anymore. Pretty long question from Curiosium. Do you think Amy Snitch device needs to be buffed further? I feel like it's way too visible when deployed. As demonstrated in this video, probably the video that I asked for the questions, it was spotted and destroyed instantly when you use it. Heartbeats. Vasily's heartbeat sensor is so much easier to hide and often will live the entire lifespan. I have to agree, yeah. I would say the snitch device for Amy is way too easy to spot when you throw it, like the trail on it is just too easy to see. I would like to increase like the flight time to make it faster so it's less time in the air. But other than that, I think it's actually really good device and in my opinion it's better than the heartbeat sensor and i mean you can throw it just on buildings and walls and stuff so 
if you if you know where to throw it you can actually hide it quite easily but yes i do agree that the in time flight thing it's just way too easy to see and to spot philip galitz asked javelin op in your opinion mm, i wouldn't say she's op i yes she is definitely very very strong definitely borderline op but um i think the term op is just way overused i wouldn't really say she's op but yes he definitely needs a little bit of a tweak uh, first of all i would increase the cooldown to 35 seconds from 30 i think that's just way better uh, the instant gap range definitely needs to be decreased because at the moment especially for squishy mercs it's just way too big i mean uh, instant gibbing with the rocket is basically just nine out of ten times you get insta gift which really really sucks and the final thing in which pretty much all of the people agree on is that needs the, the audio clue when she's you know charging her rocket should be way louder and way easier to hear however i do want to say that i think the weapons she has uh, are just fine they don't need any tweaking i think her ammo ability doesn't need any tweaking for like the actual ammo thing. I would like to see maybe a visible range around her just like Phoenix has. And of course the X currently is, well, the range on it is pretty shit. So I hope they will change that. Eduardo Escalante, I hope I pronounced that right, asks, What are your thoughts on Vault? How good is the map? Do you think it was rushed or a polished map? And do you think Jeff is OP? Well, of course, Jeff are already answered. I think Vault is a very fun map. It looks really, really nice. But it feels, and I don't know why, but it feels like a rushed map. I know it is, I think, the first map they actually, like, released from scratch up. The build-up from scratch. In a very, very short time. So that might be the reason why it feels a bit rushed. Uh, definitely has, in my opinion, a lot of performance issue. I mean, I have a really beastly PC and I still get drastically lower frame rates on that map compared to other maps. And of course, the first objective is a little bit iffy. It's very long from the spawn, like the attackers need to walk a very long way to get to the first objective. And I think the MG position of it, on the like the defender side, is a bit too OP because you can't really get to it without, you know, repairing the bridge first. So I think the first objective needs a little bit work. Uh, and of course the performance on the map overall needs uh, definitely some tweaking. But overall I, th I really like Vault, uh, especially the aesthetics of it. Imperium Floor asked, what is your least favorite merc and map currently? What would you change to improve them? Cheers mate. Um, very hard to say, I honestly don't really like Bushwhacker. I think he's a little bit too passive. I don't really like the turret too much. It's still way too easy to kill. So that's one of the mercs I don't really like. And honestly, I don't really have like a map that I particularly dislike or anything. I think all of the maps are pretty much fun. Same goes actually for the mercs. So this is a really, really hard question uh, and I can't really answer it, honestly. I like most of the mercs and I like most of the maps. So it's, you know, sorry, I can't really answer it. He also has a channel of his own and he has some sick edited montages, so I highly recommend checking it out. Nyako Rile, Kiako Nuria, Kiako Nurile. This person asked, do you believe and if, how could Dirty Bomb become really famous? Um, I think because of the really, really unique gameplay. And yes, I do think that Dirty Bomb will explode maybe this year and otherwise definitely next year. But it is definitely because of the uni gameplay, which is basically this is the only game that I know of that has this kind of gameplay mechanics with the buttery smooth gameplay. And that's, I think, the second thing. And of course, it is a free to play game as well, which definitely will help. But Master asked about my PC specs. I will have a detailed list on the screen right now, but basically it is a i7 5820K, a GTX 980 Ti. Uh, two 250 SSDs in RAID 0, which is blazing fast, but really, really uh, dangerous because if one crashes, then the whole PC basically crashes. And then I have two one terabyte drives for videos, basically just dedicated for videos and recordings. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM DDR4, really awesome for editing and rendering videos. And it's basically, you know, the main stuff. Uh, I do have a 144 Hertz monitor, 27 inch. Yeah, it is 1080p still, but uh, it's a great monitor. Colors are a bit iffy because it is a TN panel, so it's not the greatest, but for gaming it's definitely really, really nice. Wrong Gamer asks how old I am. I'm 21 years old. Both PPT and Tenders GT ask how you can get good at sniping in Dirty Bomb. Well, I have honestly, you know, not really a lot of yeah, crazy, you know, secret tricks or anything. 
First of all, turn off the view bobbing. It's a, uh, I think located at HUD and then view in the settings. Turn that off, just period. Doesn't matter if you snipe or not. That's really annoying and will help out your aim a lot. So turn that off. Of course, practice a lot with anything in life. Just keep on practicing. Practicing like daily is definitely important. So you build up that muscle memory. One more thing I recently found out, you have to be confident in your shots. You have to be like, I'm gonna shoot this guy and I'm gonna hit him. Be confident in your shots and you will hit more shots. Also, don't rely too much on your secondaries and melee weapons. You have to use your primary weapon, the sniper itself, as much as you can. Even in close range encounters, just use your sniper as much as you can. Of course, it is fine to whip out your pistol to finish him or to get the last, you know, damage points if you get a headshot on, for instance, a thunder but just use your primary sniper as much as you can. And then the last thing, which goes for actually all the mercs and basically all of, you know, first person shooter games, always try to aim at head level, always view, always keep your crosshair basically at head level. Dank memes ask, who is your bay in Dirty Bomb? Uh, very hard to say, probably Amy or Javelin, though I have to say Javelin's probably still because he is in my honeymoon phase, so to say, but Amy definitely has been proving herself and I really really like to play with her in the game then. <laughs> Stefan Lepes asks, how do you think the shitty trade system could be fixed? I think uh, the a hybrid between the old system and the current one would be ideal, but this way you would still have the intermediate steps between card rarities uh, and that's basically for me like the most important thing that you have that progression level which is just so much fun. Crafting to, for instance, a cobalt, you will need to craft a few golds. And maybe one or two of those are good golds, you will keep them. And it's just a lot more fun. I think the old system was just a lot more rewarding. Yes, the crafting from leads to irons to bronzes was just really obnoxious and took way too much time and credits. But I think like a system in between those will definitely be the ideal solution. Or just give us both solutions. So have trading for people who want to trade and have crafting for people who want to craft. WJ asks, did you get the Assault Course Cobalt Trinket legit? Don't lie assassin. Yes, I did get it legit. However, it took me at least five hours, if not longer. I kept fucking up at the double long jump at the end. Levante something something asks, what is your favorite weapon? It's really hard to say in Dirty Bomb because personally I like almost all weapons, so it's really hard to say. Probably my favorite weapon, however, is either the Blishlock, the new Sashi, which I really, really like, or the Felix Sniper Rifle. It's a lot of fun, and I can't go wrong with the Tamek either. Leoshi Hinokami asks, Javelin OP or not? I already answered that. Yes, very strong, not OP. Bante Chine asks, is Catfordog my brother? No, he's not, but he is related. He is my cousin, actually, and it... Technically, it is his channel still. He came up with the name also because it's Cat Free Dog Cat Gamings. Sam's Altunsoy asked, "What is my age? 21, and what is the best assault merc in Dirty Bomb?" Personally, and I know it's weird to say, I think at the moment it's Javelin, even though she is not an assault merc. But the rocket launcher is just so good. It's really good. I mean, she's basically an assault merc. Let's agree that can give out ammo as well. And otherwise probably Fragger. Dux Gaming asks, what is the best merc for each class in ranked? It, these types of questions are just so hard to answer, especially in Dirty Bomb, because it depends so much on your personal playstyle. Basically, you know, you, every person can go really, really well with a specific merc. For instance, I suck with Phantom, but Daz, for instance, of course, we all know him. He just is godly with Phantom. Depends way too much on your playstyle. I can't really answer this, it's just you need to figure it out on your own. Honestly, I don't really think there's a definitive answer for this question in the first place. J Page Tar, whatever, asked, will you be doing a giveaway? If so, do it with your girlfriend. No, I will not do a giveaway, and no, unfortunately, I don't have a girlfriend. Harsh Hits, Harsh Shit, Swama, asked, what are my PC specs? I already linked that in the description or on the screen somewhere, so. But, anyways, thanks for asking. James McDonald's asks, where are you from and when do you think Dirty Bomb will leave the beta state? I'm from the Netherlands and I think personally that Dirty Bomb will still be released this year. I think it will be around Christmas time. Daren Xiam, if I pronounce that right. How much money have you spent on this game and should I do the same? No, you should not do the same because hold your socks. I've spent $902.82 on this game, which 
even blows my mind actually and that is even without stuff from G2A and Humble Bundle. So no, you should probably not spend close to a thousand dollars on this game. FrameX07 asks, what was your first Cobalt and which merc do you hate the most? So I already answered the first Cobalt, it was the CR94 for Phantom. And ironically, Phantom is probably my most hated merc or at least least favorite merc. It's not really because I hate him so much, but it's more because I play squishy mercs, auras, amys, proxies a lot of the times and see is those mercs are one hit and it's just really annoying getting one hit by the katana. Ruminator81 asked, if you want trading to be added, how much would you rate it? If zero, I don't want it at all and ten, I need it right now. I really want trading to be added. Uh, so on that point I would probably say it's close to 10, but I want Splash Damage to take that time, figure out the best way to add it in. Is it via Steam like CSGO skins or is it gonna be like in-game? I really want them to figure out the best strategy and not fuck up like they did with the crafting system. And I have to also say it's probably incredibly hard to add in the trading system because of the premium cases you can currently buy because it, it doesn't make any sense to buy a 10 pack of 35 euro cases if you can just buy a cobalt the specific cobalt you want in that specific skin for 10 euros which i think would be around the price a cobalt would go for but yes i really would like a trade system h something russian c something more russian asked are you gay no i'm not gay though i don't have a girlfriend so hmm but i'm not gay James Lynch asks, what is my height? The last time I measured it was 1 meter 84-ish. So uh, yeah, that's my height, basically. Ace Toxic asks, how old are you? 21 years. Abdullah Bargov asks, my question is, can I ask a question? No, you cannot. And because you already asked the question, you will now have seven years of bad luck with case openings. Guy Blumenfeld asks, when did you start playing Dirty Bomb? It was June 28th of 2015, so just a few weeks after the release of Open Beta. JT Gaming asks, do you think Javelin is OP? This is a very, very popular question for some reason. Uh, I already answered it, of course, so I'm not going to answer it again. But thanks for asking. Josh MacPC asks, what is your age and in real life name? So 21 is my age and my first name is Jordi, Yori, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to answer my last name. I don't really think you need it for anything. You are the best. Continue like this. Thank you very much, mate. Jonathan asks, will you ever try Titanfall? I would like you to review it. Thank you. Probably no. Sorry, it's not that I think it's a bad game or looks bad, it's just not really my type of game. Billy Lynn asks, what is your opinion of where Dirty Bomb is going in the future? I already answered this kind of, I think Dirty Bomb will explode and it will be one of the top 20 games on the Steam charts, I hope. Cookie of Doom asks, can you speak German and if you can't, can you try to say some words of Nader? No, I can't really speak German at all, even though in Dutch I'm supposed to be like really close. Uh, I scored a 3.8 out of 10 like on my exams in middle school so that should you know indicate a little bit of how much i cannot speak german and sorry i'm not even going to try to speak any quotes of neither armin efren asked will you make your own youtube channel probably not i'm really settled on cat gamings at the moment and I'm, you know it doesn't make any sense for me to make a new channel especially now with the current art contest that's running. Owen Buckingham asked, what is your college major, what is your current job, and how about your dream job? Thanks, you are awesome. Thank you very much. So my college major is IT or computer science, whatever you want. Uh, my current job is a Saturday job like in a warehouse. It's very simple, but it's a lot of fun actually with the colleagues I have all my age. And my dream job is probably making games or just other cool software applications. Jay Carver asks, when did you start playing Dirty Bomb? I already answered it, but it was June 28th of 2015. Eduardo Escalante again with the question, favorite map and thoughts on Vault nowadays? My favorite map, Chapel by far. I always vote Chapel when it comes up. And Thoughts on Vault already explained it in a other question from someone else. SDMG Gaming asked, do you have a break from college or do you still have it? I was on a break when I made the video, so yes, I was on a break. But now I'm in my third week of the next year. Max RLF asks, how much money have you spent on Dirty Bomb? I already answered it and it was close to $1,000. Much Doge asks, what are your thoughts on Overwatch? Personally, I think it looks really cool. It's a very well-made game. It, uh, you know, the graphics are fine. I mean, it's very popular, of course. But personally, 
I'm not really into those types of games. I've played a little bit of Paladins, which is probably, you know, the clone, the Overwatch clone. Uh, I don't really like those types of games. You won't be seeing me play it. And then the last question or questions from Brayden Fong. So the first question is, do you think shotguns require skill? If yes, why? If no, what would you do? Uh, I think they do take some skill, but not jumping shotguns. That's just annoying and it's way too easy. And I think there should be a penalty for when you shoot in midair for all guns for that matter. And he also wants to know it for the rocket launcher. I think yes, the rocket launcher in guided mode takes quite a lot of skill actually. In dumpfire, not so much, at least not to get like one kill each time. To get multiple kills, you do need to be a little bit skilled. Should Fletcher get his 100 damage sticky bombs back as they nerfed them to 90? Yes, I would love to see it changed back. I don't really see why they reduced it because they already increased the cooldown time and I think they decreased the range on it. So I think that on its own was plenty. Though I have to say Fletcher is by far the best engineer in my opinion. And he was really, really strong in the right hands. Can you please do challenges suggested by us in the comments? Yes, I will definitely do challenges, but... They need to be unique and doable because a lot of the times it's either, you know, the same old stuff like no HUD, pistol only, knife only, whatever, ability only, or it's like crazy OP, like go knife only and get a godlike or whatever. So if you guys have unique and fun challenges that are doable or semi doable, Yes, I will definitely do those in the future. Those were a lot of questions, 45 to be exact. There were a few duplicates, of course. I hope you liked this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will just type them. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. It's still insane. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to enter the survey down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.